Hello everyone, so welcome to interview preparation class. So today we are going to see whatever questions you will be getting on the topic output determination or message determination. So let's start. So on the output determination topic, I know uh, you already know what is the output determination. So basically whenever you are saving a PO or you are sending a PO, so that is called how you need to send the PO or what is the format of uh, PO uh, printout, all the things will be coming under your output determination. So whatever the questions you are get, uh, you will be getting on the output determination. So first question you might get how output determination work. So basically you have to tell how output determination is getting triggered. So next question you might get where we can maintain the condition record for output type. So output type condition record you have to uh, like if you don't know the process just go to the topic where we discuss the output determination. You can find it uh, from the um, description section you can get uh, the links over there or you can go to the playlist you can uh, find the topics over there so in the output determination you have to set the condition record for output type so where you need to assign that or where you need to maintain that so you need to uh, you might get a question on that so next question may be what are the settings for output determination so what are the settings output determination um, what are the settings need to be done for output determination you might have to do so that all the things like uh, we have condition table we have access sequence we have uh, condition record we have NACE output so all the things that you need to remember what are the settings are there for output determination we have already covered all the things in our subjective topic when we have discussed the output determination process you might go to that uh, class if you have missed it or you don't know so just go to that class and see what whatever uh, settings are there needs to be done for output determination you need to see that and you need to like uh, practice on that or you need to remember that so next question you might get where can we output the transport message to vendor for PO so this is basically PO transport um, PO transport um, T code so where you are going to transport the message to when for the uh, vendor in the PO so uh, let's say it is ME9F you have to just uh, you have to just go into the class and you have to check or if you know already then you just need to practice maybe some question will come on that also so next question where can we um, output message for material document so material document what is the T code you have to see that so next where we can print the um, so next question you might get can we print the output automatically means uh, if we are not going to this uh, let's say for PO for the vendor we are going to ME9F to output the message can we do it automatically without going to ME9F so you have to see if we can print the output automatically if we can print uh, automatically where the settings is where we can do the settings so that our output will go automatically that you need to see so these are some of the questions that you might get on the output determination output determination is also a where there is a process like release procedure output determination account determination pricing procedure definitely you will be getting one to two question on that if you are mentioning that in your resume definitely you will be going to get some of the question like one to two questions definitely you will be going to get so better to prepare for these kind of topic and integration topics also you need to prepare so this is a possible set of questions that you might get from output determination perspective so that's all for today let's meet again on tomorrow till then bye bye and take care jai hind